Hello, welcome to Tegalicious Limited. My name is Great, and I'll be taking you on the topic Baking Perfectly Charcoal. Now, the items you'll be needing are one the charcoal, you need a bottle of kerosene, you need a box of matches, you need a metal pot or bowl, one that's deep. Now, note that you won't be using this for anything else apart from charcoal. You also need a smaller metal pot or bowl to show you where and how you will use this. And that's all you need for this process. See you in the next video. Alright, well, let's begin. Now the idea is to have two sets of charcoal. The bigger pot is going to carry the bigger charcoal and the smaller one is going to carry the smaller charcoal. As small as this size or even smaller. This is where we're going to be pouring the kerosene and this is where we're going to be lighting. Do not pour kerosene in the bigger pot. Now you're just going to arrange the bigger chunks of charcoal round with you know a hole in the middle where this would go. Like this. Yeah, just something like this. Now you just put this kerosene around the smaller one. The essence of this is to avoid the smell of kerosene in your baked products. This is what will go in the oven. So you do your dirty work on the smaller one. Okay. So we're just going to wait for this to burn out and um, when it's done we'll be back to put it in a bigger one now if you come back and this is not on yet you can repeat the process all right we're back now as you can see there's the red and the white part this is how you know that the charcoal is on if it's not this way, then you will have to repeat the process. Just put a little kerosene and put it on again. It should come on this time. Now you're going to put this in the hole. There. That's all. Then you can you know, cover it up with the big ones. There, something like this. Now, if you are in a hurry, you can just find this to come on very fast. But if not, you can just leave it to come on on its own. Alright, as you can see, the charcoal is finally lit and ready to go in the oven. Now, most times you might notice some white smoke, you know, coming up might be hot in the eye that's a signal that there's a bad charcoal all you need to do is to trace it with anything metal a spoon or something and take it out then you can put your charcoal in the oven and leave it to get hot all right the pot on your coal is in the oven and it's ready to heat up make sure it's centered make sure you put your pan a little above the charcoal don't put your pan directly under the charcoal you can take it a step up at least for the starting process all right about regulating the heat of your oven like i said in the previous video make sure your baking pan is not directly under the heat of the charcoal pot there should be a layer space now if you still have space and then you find out your cake is still baking the middle is not properly baked but you know the heat is already becoming too much the idea is to take this to the next layer and then block the fire or the heat to block the heat you need a metal tray like this you need a metal tray or a baking tray preferably so we'll just show you how take your baking pan up to the next layer and then block the heat this prevents the heat from getting directly to the cake so you can still close the oven and then your cake continues baking but if you're done with the process your first cake and then you still need to bake again and you find out the heat is not so high what you need you won't need a spray what you need is to add 
more charcoal to the charcoal pot and then allow the heat to come up close the oven allow it to come up then you can put in the next batch and then you just continue your process like that until you are done all right take note of this important tips while putting on your charcoal one avoid flammable environments check your surrounding make sure there's no fuel around no gas no generators and any other explosive material make sure the environment is clear before putting on your charcoal now most people believe in order to light the charcoal you need some materials like nylon wood paper and some other materials like that that would only mess up your work that would only lead to the presence of smoke and trust me you do not need that in the oven and you don't need the smell of smoke on your baked products so i would advise you totally remove any other material apart from charcoal from your pot i uh, use smaller chunks of charcoal the reason for this is because the charcoal lights faster in smaller sizes do not skip this process except you want to go through a whole lot of work to ease up the stress and speed up the process light your charcoal in smaller chunks you might put on the charcoal and then you find out the pot is filled with fire you know do not be afraid of that as long as you are using the charcoal in the small pots and with kerosene you have nothing to be afraid about just light it the fire might be wild and big but it will go down all right to avoid black stains dark smoke and the smell of kerosene light your charcoal in the smaller pot this helps eradicate all these excesses so do not overlook using the small pot now the quantity of the cake you want to bake is going to determine the quantity of charcoal you're going to use if you want to bake a bigger cake it means you'll be needing a fuller pot of charcoal and if you want to bake a smaller cake it means you do not need so much charcoal so use your discretion and know the quantity to put now on no account and for no reason should you put kerosene directly into the big pots of charcoal this is because you stand the risk of having your cake smelling of kerosene so do not put kerosene in the big pot now before your charcoal goes in the oven make sure you pay attention to the presence of smoke if you notice any white smoke of any kind it could be hot into the eyes make sure you trace where it's coming from and remove the particular charcoal some charcoal can be bad and smoking all right do well to put off your charcoal completely and properly you don't want to go to bed and your charcoal comes back alive so make sure you use enough water to put off your charcoal after baking thank you for joining our class i hope this section we are educating to you if you have any questions you have any feedback we would like to hear from you thank you Thank you.